friendship ended with Super Meat Boy. Best friend, new best friend is Celeste friend. I'm, I'm gonna play through the whole game and I am gonna do the DLC. The farewell level, the, 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 the insano level. Now you have to, for a specific strat here, you gotta put in very specific name or else the whole thing doesn't work. Funny! I did the joke, I did the joke, I'm tap dancing. So I will be doing this using dashes. I did the stupid, like, dashless one, and that was a pain in the ass. I, I will not be getting the berries, because I am allergic to berries. It's berry out of my way. So like, leave dash. A lot of, uh, cool shit in Celeste speedruns. I will be showing off some of it today. Uh, not all of it. Can I spike jump here, for instance? Yes, I can. This one, doing the, like, doing the speedrunner way of this, ro this room is, uh, harder for me than the normal way. Uh, why did I say that? That's, like, always true. Pog. Bep. 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 One. <laughs> Strawberries will impress your Twitch followers. This one's kind of fun, I guess, to anybody who doesn't know. When you go through a screen, screen transition, a screen transition, uh, you get your dash back. Which leads to hokey shit like that. Alright, this is the first room we get to, like, cheese. Needless to say... Oh! I'm not gonna finish that sentence now. <laughs> you're not gonna- you're never gonna know. Huh. <laughs> now time for the part that I suck at, the part that's just wave dashing with no enemies. This is... You're gonna see some juicy, juicy suboptimal movement here. That's fun, though. Fuck. Yeah, bye, Theo. We will be freaking seeing you, man. We will be seeing you later. This is a nice low death count. Time for that to get ruined by this level. I'm dreading this. Oh, God. And you'll see why. It's not the level, really. It's like there's a specific oh strat. Now, this room is one of the most technical in the game, and thankfully, I'm a god at it. I, I just go through this room so fast. Like, I peel through here, and other speedruns... The speedrunners are in awe of this shit. I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing. I'm dashing. I'm bumping into the walls. Sup, Theo? He's sus. He's sus! I hate to rat him out. Oh, oh, oh. That's my favorite part of the game, when, when, when Madeline goes, oh, oh, oh. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna perform a demo dash. And it's gonna take a while, folks. I practiced this for quite some time, and I just simply cannot get it consistent. So it's it's like I get it like one in every like fucking 50 attempts. So buckle in. A demo dash is doing a crouch dash in midair. I think you have like four frames to input it or something. And then there is just barely enough room. It doesn't really look like it. But in between two of those blobbies there, uh, there's just enough space to do a pixel-perfect dash through them. So, it's very difficult, but, uh, I will attempt to do it until I go insane, probably. <laughs> Woo! Nailed it! Nailed it! Nailed it! Literally the rest of the run is a breeze. Farewell is a breeze compared to that. And now we get the fucking sick music. They were like, hey drummer, uh, can you go fucking nuts for this song? Thanks. Thank you in advance. Boing. Didn't mean to bonk on him there. Ooh, thought you had me there, didn't you old boy? Ooh, thought you had me there, didn't you old boy? Wave dash, wave dash, ooh! Oh. I did it. Yeah, if you ever want to have your mind like, oh, if you ever want to have your mind blown, watch a Celeste speed run, like a real one. Watch a TASS. That shit is ridiculous. Like, I, and, and like, you know, I'm familiar with mind blowing speed runs, like all over the place, but this one in particular, it's like, yep, that's pretty cool. You gotta admit. All right, now my favorite level. This is, this is a cool level. So the wind can be completely negated by wave dashes. They're not completely negated, you know, but it can be, uh, you can 
really move around in a way that you normally couldn't. This is actually my favorite level. I know I probably sound like a, a total contrarian right now. Oh, I like the annoying wind level. I like the way this level looks, and I think the wind... This is like the best wind level ever. I think I, I, I don't find the wind mechanic to be that annoying. I can I can see how it is sort of perceived as annoying by people, but I, compared to like the fucking DKC2 wind level, this is just magical. Almost accidentally got a berry there. That would have been really embarrassing. I, I think the thing I appreciate is the fact that the wind is like consistent. There's like one or two screens, oh shit, where the wind is blowing in like a pattern, you know? where it's going like one way and then the other and those screens are usually pretty easy comparatively slurk oh this room's good too even when I, uh, even when i was doing the golden strawberry for this level i was like i'm gonna i'll be damned if i'm not doing that strat every single time Shit. Oh. okay well i guess we're going here <laughs> that's like designed to do just that i feel like yeah and then the music gets crazy Oh, and I, it, my favorite part of the level is at the end, when the wind is at your back. That's... that's like your reward. <gasps> okay. Sometimes when you wave dash into a room, it's like, I don't know what's in here, actually. I should have thought about this before I did it. Oh, this level. <laughs> in casual playthrough, this was my least favorite. And it got bumped significantly up the list in, in speedrun, because you can skip, like, half of it. And this is the, like, Omega Yeet. Woo! That's pretty fun. And and the speedrunners do even crazier stuff with that, but it's fun even just to fling yourself a little bit. There's a skip you can do to, like, do this a little faster, too. But uh, so many of those, I'm just like, fuck that! This part's pretty fun. It's kind of wacky that they uh, designed the, like, movement controls for this thing and only used this once. And this is not actually a cutscene, even though it takes control away from you. This next room is one of the most technical in the game, though. I gotta, I gotta be on my A-game for this. If I don't get this, I, I reset the run. Oh, I nailed it. The speedrunners do some crazy shit where they get the things to collect the tokens for you, but... Screw that. I did get like, Oh my god! Okay, never mind! I guess I'm a god! I guess I'm a god! And here's the worst part of the level, slash best part of the level, because I get to skip the worst part of the level. Yahoo! Normally you gotta get like two keys to go get that, uh, the, 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 like bubble to transport you over that, but uh, I say screw that! Huh! Oh nice. So speedrunners do some pretty crazy shit here too, that I'm only gonna be able to mildly do. But they like wave dash into Theo to like keep their momentum. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me set up like one- no, okay, good. Like that. Like that shit. Look at that. They do some, some hokey nonsense. I hate that throwing Theo into these things doesn't actually give you any sort of advantage. They just kind of go like, Ugh! for a second, and then they're fine. Whee! <laughs> Whee! That is fun. Simply is fun. By the way, have you ever got, uh, wow. <laughs> have you ever guys? Does anyone, anyone here ever guys? Oh God. Nice. We comboed him. Holy shit. Ultra combo. All the things are addressed to Luigi, and that just makes me laugh. Okay, so this part, this is a skip that is very crucial to get. This saves uh, about a trillion years of time in game. As in, it saves like one second. <laughs> These are the best guys in the game. N like, nothing compares to. Kevin is my man. Oh, sad. No, I got a wave dash off of Kevin. No. Oh, Kevin! No, wait! Kevin! <laughs> Whee! That's a little mini yeet. I'm glad I didn't- I'm glad I hit that ledge, otherwise I would have just careened into the spikes. This level has, like, alternating paths, and honestly, I'm not huge on that because I'd rather just, like, play all the, like, content of the level whenever I go through it, but whatever. It's like, fine that they were trying, willing to experiment at least. Wave dash! Oh my god, that was actually awesome. <laughs> I was expecting fully to just die instantly there. <laughs> oh wait, oh shit, I couldn't, no wait, now I have to do it like that. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
horse noise. That was a horse noise. <laughs> Why did it turn into a horse? Ooh, you guys want to see the, the cool secret? Let me show you the cool secret. It's not that much of a detour. Yay! So I looked it up. We already knew about Ogmo from Jumper. Oh, I forget the name of this game, but this is from a cancelled game that never came out that looked really cool. And so is that thing. These are from Towerfall Ascension. And this is from... Oh, fuck, I forget the name of that one, too. But it's like a space exploration game. I don't even think it's made by... Uh, extremely okay games, so I don't know why it's there, too. But surely, some reason. Maybe one of the developers worked on it or something. Alright, this is like the Omega Wii strat. Wee! Yo. Huh. Yo. Uh, by the way, in case I haven't mentioned it, this stream, uh, I said this the entire time I was playing this, uh, on stream, just a uh, casual run. This game's fucking sweet. Like, if you like cool, like, hard platforms, if you really got a kick out of Super Meat Boy, this is, like, that, but, like, better, in my opinion. With, like, it's, it's, like, nice, rewarding challenge, but also not, like, hokey bullshit, like Super Meat Boy kind of turned into sometimes, you know? So, uh, even though it is a popular indie game, and I know that makes it evil, I would heavily suggest this game. Very, very, very good. I had a ton of fun. And it was one of those ones where, like, I heard about it a lot, and I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I don't know. I, like, saw, like, art of it, and I was like, yeah, okay, I don't know, it doesn't really look like my kind of thing. And then I played it, and I was like, alright, yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This, like, reaches the Donkey Kong Country 2 level of, uh, standard of level quality. And it's got a better wind level. <laughs> oh god, I tried to wave dash and I ended up just squatting on the ground. I did it again! Just take a shit right where you die, Madeline. Bro, Clearly that's my favorite part of the game. The story is the one thing I'm not like 100% on in this game, and it's like, still good. <laughs> it's still got a good story. Oh. <laughs> You guys know I like that shit. Whoa! And there's so many parts of this game that just make you feel like a badass, too. Just, uh, by, by proxy of even completing them. And then playing through the game again, you can do all sorts of slick tricks. Wave dash, wave dash, wave dash. Just you wait battling. I'm gonna teach you how to wave dash. Yeah, and Donkey put it really well when he said it's not, not so much about pixel perfect accuracy. <clears throat> Meat boy! And more about, uh, using your moves in a creative way, at least for the main game. And then in Farewell, it starts to become a little more, all right, do it well, do it right, fucker. <laughs> a little more. The summit. This is it, Luigi. And Super Meat Boy is good, by the way. I, I like Super Meat Boy. It's just that 100%ing this game and 100%ing that game, that one made me want to fucking like pull my penis off. <laughs> and this one was mostly fun. I mean, there's some shared DNA between uh, Meat Boy. That character, Ogmo, you might look at that and say, oh, that's a Meat Boy clone or whatever. But uh, it does in fact predate Meat Boy. I might play Jumper at some point. It doesn't look particularly fun, <laughs> but it, it looks very similar to Celeste. There's like dash crystals in it, basically. This this level in particular is just very... Uh, it just makes you feel great, especially on that first playthrough when it's like a pretty fucking meaty challenge. And at the end you're like, yes! I, I fucking did it! I'm the coolest! And then, and then it's true, because you are the coolest. I do sort of fail to understand what exactly is happening in this level, though, as much as I like it. It's like we're climbing up this like alternate, shorter, but more difficult path that I guess also exists and also intersects with all of the levels that we've done up until this point. Except for Reflection, I think. Oh god, I, I'm just... In this level, I'm just thinking about the fact that I don't have to do any more demo dashes, and I'm, I'm just grinning. Like a, a freak. A mad freak. Best room. <laughs> What's happening? Ah! The wave dash room. You gotta wave dash in the wave dash room. Them's the rules. So you gotta wave dash off this one, right? That's a scary room. 
don't know. I'm sorry. That was the worst noise. This is it, Luigi. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ti -ta -ti -la. Yeah, boy. It's the best part of the game. Wall bounce. Wave dash. Up dash. Corner dash. Side dash. Smash. Ah, <sighs> well done, Mr. Potter. Ten points to Gryffindor. All right, time for time for the time for the pie. Time to see a pie with zero strawberries. What is that red? They put blood in it. What is the red if there's zero strawberries? Riddle me this. That's just like the red dye. They just like squirted some in there. It's a pathetic pie. <sighs> ah, but at least it goes in accordance with my allergies. You guys want to see something cool, actually? Uh, just walking this way gives you your dash back. <laughs> There's like a hard line right here where it's like, just comes back. That is the, that is the exact point where the core becomes cursed. So this room, I am supposed to, uh, go do a bunch of shit and turn those things into ice blocks so I can get through it easier. But, uh, cause they like slow down, but I am not going to do that. Close. There you go. Boom. Simple as that. Huh. 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 Okay. Fuck. Wow. Oh! Oh! I forgot I didn't have a dash, and I tried to just dash up. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> Yahoo! Nice try, Darth Vader, but you're gonna have to get a better guy than that. My instinct in this room, whenever I touch that switch, is to go down into that last pit. I've done that before, off-stream. I'm glad I haven't done it on-stream, because then you guys would know that I'm stupid. And that would be really embarrassing. Bum, 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 bum. Unfortunately, the, uh, the cassette music is not on the soundtrack, which is just a travesty. Travesty is when a bunch of people named Travis die, by the way. Time to do the DLC. This is a very hard level. This level uh, kills people, including Granny. Puffer fish are great. I've heard that the sound that they make, or like one of the sounds they make, is a distorted version of the Granny laughing. I personally don't hear it, but uh, sure. Shit, that was close. All right. Here's our first jellyfish moment. I love the jellyfish. They're the best. Because you can wave dash into them. Oh, no. I just made a Luigi noise. That was like straight up Luigi. This one is comparatively easy, so I should... I should get this down before I do the other more difficult version of that, <laughs> you know? So for this part... You gotta wait until this thing is on its, like, upward bob, because these platforms, like, bob up and down. And you can just barely get up here, and then you gotta do some hokey shit here. Okay, well, I instantly fucked it up. There you go. Second try, baby. And then you go down here. And unfortunately, we're gonna lose our jelly friend. And now there's a comparatively easy section, because you're supposed to do this fast, but uh, joke's on you, game designers. I'm a scrub. Yeah, Farewell doesn't have the best music. The best music in this game is in the B-sides, and no disrespect to the actual soundtrack, because that shit is great, too, but... I don't know. That, like, the third stage B-side with the, uh... The, like, Sonic music, you know? It sounds like a Sonic song. That shit's awesome. I'm not doing the car, sorry. Yahoo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want to keep the momentum there, but I guess, you know what? It's speedy. Oh yeah, this room. This is almost certainly not the way to do this room that you're supposed to, but uh, it's the way I do it. And there's that. Some people were perhaps concerned about the heart wall. No fear, my good viewers. Grapefruit knows. This, this part has like a weird glitch where it shows the, the ghost doing that like clearly impossible shit. I, I don't know what's up with that. 
It's really bizarre. That's clearly the way you're supposed to do the room. All these rooms, uh, where you have to wave dash a bunch of times in a row, those, those are my bane. As in, it would be very painful! There's some rooms where I'm like, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I have like a specific route in mind that I can't not do. Anybody else think that this little arrow platform, just the colors, especially when it lights up, anybody else, uh, think of Brack from Space Ghost Coast to Coast? It kind of blows my mind that they programmed the interaction between, like, wind and the red bubbles to use it for, I think, literally one room in the entire game. This is a pretty cool room. I like that strat. Omega wave dash. Whee! Ah! Oh man, I almost continued the level off of that shit. That would have been awesome. This is it, folks. This is it, Luigi. The worst room in the game. <laughs> and I like how they didn't put spikes on the underside of these because you're fucked anyway. Like, oh my god. Like, you're totally fucked either way, so who cares? Whew! Thank God. Now we're at the fucking, like, spoons part. We're at the Jingle Bell Rock, folks. Da 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 Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. Y you hear what I'm saying? Shit. Ah. Barely. <laughs> that is such a goofy strat. Oh, this is a room that is, uh made to be cheesed, or chose, however you want to say it. There you go. This is the part where the music becomes aquatic ambience. Oh god, oh there's a slick skip you can do there. If I die again, or if I die, I'll, I'll try to do it. But if not, there's no need. Huh. Ah, well, hold on. What happens if I touch the bird? Okay, I was gonna say, it, it just yeets me into death. Oh shit, no, 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 hold on, we're gonna get the thing. So I think if you just let that thing explode you and hold away, something incredible happens. There's a crazy fucking speedrun route through this room that I will not be doing. Just like look at all those dash crystals there and just imagine, imagine me doing something super slick. This whole level has speedrun skips in it more than the rest of the game, I mean. A little bit of disrespect. We like to throw in some disrespect here and there, folks. Oh! Just stone cold, dead eyed bird. Doesn't give a shit. This is the part where they try actively killing you. Both Badalin and the bird are, are actively trying to murder you. Like, if you don't dash preemptively there, they will just kill you. It's like, bro. Really doing this right now? We're like besties and you're murdering me. Got it. <laughs> like when you just zoop onto something rather than dashing into it. It's like you're my best friend, Power Box. I'll always love you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. I'm having struggles on things I've never struggled on before. God damn it. Okay, wow. Wow, I'm really, uh, I'm really eating a lot of asshole right now. A lot of, like, a lot, like, a lot of asshole. Ah. I don't really have much to say. I, I kind of have to concentrate for this shit. So, uh, forgive me if my commentary is not as effervescent as usual. Oh man, we're almost there. <laughs> that room feels so cool. That's just a fun room. They know what they're doing there. All right. This is it, Luigi. Final room. Should probably take a few attempts. But this final room is not too bad. It's just, uh, like, it's not too incredibly difficult. It's just long. So it's, like, punishing. You know? But the shit they make you do is not too ridiculous. It's a bit of a visual clusterfuck, this level. It kind of... It kind of, like, I don't know. Something about it. I start seeing shapes. I start seeing colors. Start hearing voices that are not my own. All the shit that's going on on screen. Ah! Oh! 
said. Uh, the way that Tass does this part, by the way, insane. All right, this one's for you, Kobe. Yo, nailed it. This is it, Luigi. Maybe. Boom. Completed. Completed. I'm feeling pretty good about that. 207? All my other ones took like two and a half hours. I believe that deserves a hells to the yeah, folks. Now, you guys know how I said I was, uh, was allergic to berries? I'm allergic to strawberries. There is one berry that fits my particular palate. This is it, Luigi. Wait, 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 wait. Smoke. <laughs> By the way, this is probably going to take a few attempts. Don't expect me to just do this perfectly first try. E. This is a very nerve-wracking part. You have to go back through the, the level with, with the electricity turned off. And, uh... Man, oh man, does it make me nervous to have to, like, wave dash over some of these pits. When I, uh... Don't have the utmost faith in my wave dashing skills. So is this the jellyfish that I tossed? It was in kind of a weird spot there. It didn't feel like it spawned there. It felt like it just, it, it like, fell there. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. Also, reach the checkpoint, so pog. Absolute pog. All right, now we get the funny room. This is a funny room for jokes and jokesters. And fun fact, if you bring the golden strawberry in here, when you enter this room, it will just zoop the strawberry up there to that little pocket there. Because uh, you're forced to die on these spikes to continue because of some reload zone jank. It's pretty silly. But now I have to do this shit. The real final room of the game. Well, not really. I think the real final room is the golden straw room at the end of Farewell. But uh, this is just a jelly toss zone. Doing pretty well first try, but... Uh, all it takes is one mistake. Ah, so sad. I'm not gonna take the insano psycho swag route. Psycho swagger. Guess you say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is it, Luigi. Bada bing, bada boom. And there it is, folks. It took some trials and tribulations, but finally, a berry suited to my particular tastes is within my reach. GG. Well played, everyone, and that I'm talking about you at home, too! That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. That's a fun goddamn game. Let's see what my <laughs> Luigi, let's see my stats. Zero. Zero, 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 one. And then, oh, oh my god. On Farewell, I died five less times than I did in the entire rest of the video game. Although, 100 of those deaths were from the Celestial Resort doing the stupid demo dash. It's a great game. I, I would suggest this to anyone, especially if you're a fan of really good platformers. Uh, I had an incredible time playing it, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.